Oh, hi. Um, yeah, so, yeah, look, I, yeah, no, I wasn't, no, I wasn't doing anything wrong. You know, so, uh, let, yeah, let's, let's get on with this. Welcome back to 5 Minutes of Finny. Tonight, I'm going to turn the tables and try a whiskey again. It's been a bit of time, but, um, it seemed about the right time. Um... This whiskey is from Hibernia Distillery, which is uh, down in Cork. They, uh, I don't think, are producing their own like whiskey yet. I don't think they've started up the distillery quite yet with stills or anything. I'm not quite sure on that though, so don't, don't quote me on that one. Um, but they set up quite recently. Anyhow, they sent me a sample down, and um, I wanted to give it a try. It is a 10 year old aged well i think nine and a half years in um first fill bourbon oak casks and then i think about six months in oloroso sherry casks and those are actually sourced from um andalusia region of spain um from what from what they they said so you know um and this whiskey is supposed to be Kind of like a special edition of theirs. Um, it is called their number one President's Cask Edition uh, for the 10 year old, and it is for Douglas Hyde. This whiskey is called Hyde Whiskey 10 year old, and it's for Douglas Hyde, who was the president from 1938 to 1945. He was Ireland's first president. Um, so, this is kind of supposed to be presidential whiskey kind of have you know the you know presidential flavor to it whatever that's supposed to mean I don't really know what that means to be honest um, but it's supposed to be you know kind of a stately whiskey anywho um and there are only 5,000 bottles produced so you know a bit limited I think it comes in at 46 percent anyhow getting on to that uh they sent me this little tiny bottle Bottle is quite cute actually. Um, you know, no label or anything, but apparently this is high 10 year old, so I'm sure it is what they say. So I'll pour that into my Glen Karen glass. Mm, a little bit left. Um, the nose on this is um, actually quite, quite sweet. Um, I'm getting a bit of citrus off of it. Um, I'm trying to warm it up here just to see and get some more off of it. Um, yes, I'm getting a very like orange apricot, um, maybe a warm peach, along with that a bit of cinnamon maybe, cherry almost. On the nose, it's quite sweet. Some citrus for sure. Not really a lemon citrus, more of like a orange zest. Mango, um, anyhow. It's very light. It's a single malt, um, but I feel like it's quite light um, for a single malt. Um, it's quite drinkable. Um, quite smooth, 46%. Um, um, I'm getting some oakiness to this. I'm still still getting the like the citrus um, portions of this. Um, I'm getting more of a robust orange taste. Um, maybe like an almost like an orange biscuit now. To that, maybe like a warm summer fruit that you would bite into. Is what I'm getting here. Uh, more of like a tropical fruit. I'm very good with tropical fruits. A mango, um, not really pineapple, but it's citrusy, but it's a, a more mellow citrus in flavor. I mean, there was more of a punch to the nose as far as citrus, and then now it's more of like a mellowy, I don't know, brought back flavor. And there's still some, a little bit, a tiny bit of spice to it as well. Um, maybe like a nutmeg. A tiny bit of nutmeg, not a huge amount. There's definitely a nuttiness to it. Um, maybe an almond. 
Okay. Hazelnut. I got your mellow nut. It's got a very smooth finish. A very smooth finish. Um, it's warm, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't last ridiculously long. But, you know, it goes to the back of your throat and to your chest. And a nice, you know, mellow, smooth finish. Um, I'd say it's a medium finish. It's not long, but it's not like a short, abrupt finish either. So. Gotta finish you want, you know. I didn't just say that. Um, no, I think it's you know it's definitely you're definitely getting the um, characteristics from the wood of the barrels for sure, the oakiness from the from the barrels, and then when they first finish, so that makes sense. And then you know you're getting some warmth and um, a lot of the. I guess almost the the fruity and the and the boldness from the sherry coming through this as well. Um, no, it's very nice, drinkable whiskey. They've presumably gotten this from Kulu. I mean, it wasn't written anywhere, but that's where it's from, most likely, unless they've got some other source. Then they aged it their own way, or matured their own way, and second sherry cask, so make it their own. Um, so yeah, uh, this is Hyde Whiskey, um, 10 year old, and the uh, number one president's cask. I'm actually quite enjoyable 10 year old whiskey. So yeah, that's my whiskey review for the night. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Haven't done a whiskey review in a while, but I love drinking whiskey. And so, you know, I like to share my, my reviews with you guys. I like to share my whiskey love with the world um and hopefully like you know some of you guys craft beer drinkers will get on the whiskey at some point because if you enjoy craft beer you most likely enjoy whiskey you just don't know it yet so that's my spiel anyhow that's all i've got uh hope to see you soon um like share subscribe comment cheers so